Una estilista con problemas de alcoholismo decide ayudar a un padre cuya hija requiere urgentemente de un trasplante. Y ahí comienza la trama de Ángeles Inesperados, la última película de la ganadora del Oscar, Hilary Swank. So, Hilary, it's so nice to finally be able to talk to you. You too. <laughs> thank you. Oh, thank you for your time. You know, it's, it's an honor. I consider you an absolute powerhouse of a performer. So, it's an honor. Thank you for your time, really. <laughs> thank you for that. Thank you. You know, I once saw you in an interview say that, and I quote, <laughs> I like to dive into things that scare the crap out of me. <laughs> so I would like to know what did scare the crap out of you regarding, you know, playing Sharon or the whole project in general? Um, I think that anytime you play a real life person, this is a true mm -hmm. story. Um, it's scary because you want to do justice to so it's someone's life. Yeah. You know, and you want to make sure you're doing justice to it. And so for me, um, that's scary. You know, it's it's, <laughs> it's a lot of weight to carry. You know, staying on the, on the based on a real life uh, story page, I'd like to know actor wise, how do you do it? Because I can only imagine the, the whole amount of things that you must juggle in your, in your head, like uh, keep it real, but, but you know, be uh, 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 riveting or be raw, but still be respectful to the real people you're portraying. That's a hell of a, of a mental real estate to care yeah. about. How do you accomplish that? Oh, you know, you just, um, you just try your best to be, um, to honor them and you mm -hmm. empathize with what they're going through and you try and, um, make it as real as possible. And, Mm -hmm. um, and all of its colors. And I think one of the beautiful things about Sharon is that she's flawed and it's a reminder yeah. that you don't have to be perfect to help somebody else. And, and that uh, really through helping others, we really help ourselves. You know, she's, she's an alcoholic and yeah. so it, it deals with a lot of different issues. Um, and, um, the importance of getting a second chance for this. What a headache. Sure. Every time I see the story about strangers coming together, you know, rallying up to fight for the good cause, it really gets me. And I was, uh, I was gripped <laughs> during those last scenes. I was really gripped. Uh, have you had or have you encountered ordinary angels in your life yourself? Yeah, I mean, a big reason why I wanted to do this movie was um, because my dad was the recipient of a lung. Um, uh -huh. and um, so to me, that was a, a real miracle um, that he got a lung that self helped save his life. And, um, you know, someone was really gracious and ticked a box and said when their life comes to an end, they want to be able to help others' life continue. And no. that's, that's really a miracle to me. And it's a beautiful gift. And I think it's one of another issue that the movie deals with that um is uh, a reminder to people to please be an organ donor god is here with us right now and we are here with you something about that little girl without was there any part because you know the film deals with scarcity deals with uh going out of your own way for strangers was there any special part that resonated with you and your real life experiences other well, than your I, father's perhaps yeah i mean my father's experience was the biggest part mm -hmm. But I think sure. um, kind of what I was just talking about, about, you know, this is these are dark times the world is going through. And um, mm. I think that this movie is a reminder. It's a feel good movie and it's a reminder yeah. that kindness is yes, such a That's not good, eh? beautiful and important virtue that we've mm -hmm. really lost touch with. And so to me, I love that this movie was that reminder and um, continues to be something that um we all need to hold tight to you know and, yeah. and and think about in in our daily actions especially in these days which uh, everybody seems to be divided over anything <laughs> particularly you know i think it's a very valuable lesson this is our last chance if we don't take it michelle dies i could look under a million definitions of making it in the business and your story could fit them all <laughs> it's like oh. amazing really how do you no it's it's not lip service I'm, i'm really being honest here how do you keep the hunger uh going on uh, the, the edge you know because it's so necessary uh for your craft 
Yeah, that's a really good question. And strangely, no one's asked me that, if you can believe it, in my <laughs> 32 year career. Wow.、Um, it is, I have chills. I don't know if you can see them. <laughs> oh my God, yeah. The reason I, I love, I love people. And I love what makes us similar and I love what makes us different. I love celebrating our differences. And I love blowing open my blinders of how I see the world and from my own experience and seeing it through someone else's eyes. And so to me, it enriches my life so much. And it's such a challenge. Each role that I play、um, challenges me as an artist, but also、mm. expands my heart as a human being. So it's this double gift that I get. And it brings me such joy. And I love to collaborate with other artisans as well. So、um, that is my fire. You know, that is what keeps me hungry. And I also love, I mean, my, the, like, I think my biggest inspiration is life, in life is people who persevere through adversity. And so when I read stories about people, whether they're fictional or, of course, true. Sure. Which, So much of, I think, our true stories are stranger than fiction, as they say.、Um, I'm always like blown away. And it's so connective. And like this story, it just reminds us of like, we're all one people, you know? And I love that. And I love how it makes me feel into my marrow. Well, that gave me the goosebumps <laughs> because, you know, one of my books leads,、uh, I mean, deals in, in that. Life has the best scripts, I think. And I just started acting last year. So, what you said just hit me in all the right spots. <laughs> oh, that's great. We'll break a leg in that and don't give up. That's the biggest thing. Thank you very much. Thank you very much for your time. And it's,、uh, it's been a pleasure talking to you. Thank you. You too. Have a great day. Because I can.